What if we designed Jamaica and other Caribbean islands to be adaptive and resilient to hurricanes like Hurricane Melissa? Now, I live in New York City. I'm an architectural designer here. And one of the things that New York is really great at is responding to the times. If stormwater becomes a problem, they put in regulations for architects and developers and construction individuals to start to build in a certain way to respond to the problem of stormwater. So let's speak about this, right? Post hurricane or even during a hurricane sometimes, what you get are large masses of flooding everywhere where essentially individuals can no longer use their homes. Electric lines are pretty much shot. The outlets in a home pretty much shot. So how can we actually create areas that can actually soak up water? What if parks became like coastal sponge parks? So essentially we have amphitheaters, mangrove berms, and essentially large swaths of areas that are for play and public use that essentially soak up and hold water for 24 to 48 hours before letting it go back into the sewage system. So I'm thinking that you have an amphitheater or you have a park with mangrove berms. The grounds of the park would have porous settlements, 36 48 inches deep that essentially holds water like a sponge. Doesn't necessarily drain it, but it holds it. And if you could look at the overall square footage of the island and start to build in a way where you identify almost like the areas that sink the deepest, you could find those areas and then essentially create these public parks for individuals to play with on a day-to-day -day basis. But they also play a huge role in capturing and holding water for a specific time frame, alleviating the pressure on the sewage system, and thus hopefully less houses would have to deal with flooding. This is just one idea on how we can make the island of Jamaica more adaptive and resilient to hurricanes during hurricane season. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments. This is the Jamaica 2040 plan, and I will be speaking more about this in videos to come.